Hello guys, welcome to CAD and 3DP. Today, here we are going to learn about delamination, a 3D print defect and how to solve it. So, this is a book page holder which I printed using PLA and in this I faced this delamination error. As you can see, the print walls are warped or contracted and this is what called delamination. And another example is that see in this print which I used to close that hole as you can see here this is also called delamination this is how the print wall gets separated as you can see here see here see it's get contracted so this is how delamination defect look like so what is delamination it is a print defect in which the cued layers of the print separate from one another or simply putting the 3D print walls get contracted when cooled and what and separated. So what causes this delamination? Simply there are few factors which causes this. First one is not enough temperature of the nozzle and second print speed of walls is fast. Wall overlap is not set right. And the last is retraction distance. Also, there are a couple of other factors which affect, but I don't think they affect that much. So, I have used Cura as my slicing software. So, let me show you what settings you need to tweak exactly to fix this issue and get your print from this to this. So, let's get into the Cura software. So, now as we are in Cura slicing software, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to tweak. So first of all, nozzle temperature, which you can you can definitely change from here, uh, temp printing temperature, but it depends on the type of filament you are using. So if you are using PLA, 200 would be fine. If you are using some ABS or more, it needs higher temperature. So based on the filament you are using, you need to tweak your nozzle temperature. And so the second one is wall speed. It is the speed at which the walls are printed. You need to reduce it because when you reduce it, more material will be printed. Simple. So when you print more material, the previous layer and the current layer will get fused. If you print less material, there, uh, there will be always a gap in between. So that we need to uh, fix it. Okay. So the third one is wall overlap. How you can change it? You can change it here in infill overlap. Here you can see in infill overlap there is thing mentioned like it is when you change this outer wall line width is also affected so when you increase this the filament overlap will happen because of which fusion happens in in a right way so that is one thing and the last thing is retraction distance so when you edit this thing you need to be very careful because well this is something one should tweak carefully based on the model one is printing because it is mainly used in resolving stringing problem so if you keep it by default uh, value stringing happens and if you keep it too high delamination occurs because of under extrusion so one should try to tweak this value based on the model one is printing for this model i used 8 so mostly i use uh, from 7 to 9 so whichever value you use it should be based on the model you are printing so that's all uh, my solution to this delamination problem so for as a summary i would like to repeat everything uh, the first thing is temperature of the nozzle the second thing is print speed of the wall should be reduced third thing is wall overlap should be increased and the last thing is with this video make sure you like the video and subscribe and also share it